we have more of Amy's emotional interview with the widow of Robin Williams. Susan Williams is speaking out for the first time since his death. And Amy, as she's grieving her husband, she's also had this legal battle with his kids. That's right. Uh, this morning, Susan Williams opening up about that heated legal battle over Robin's estate. And she is also giving us a look inside the very private life she built with Robin Williams. I just keep doing the things that that work, you know. Mm -hmm. For years, she was the woman behind legendary funny man. Fussy, 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 you do Martha Graham, Martha Graham, Martha Graham, or Twyla. Robin Twyla. Williams. It's against intergalactic law to eat fellow space travelers. <laughs> Fly, be free. When we think of Robin Williams, this larger than life, big hearted guy, as funny as funny gets. Hello! Was he the same guy that we all think we know? No. <laughs> Um, Robin is kind, quiet, and sometimes funny at home, you know, and but not always funny. Oh, no. You know, he was meditative, contemplative, um, intellectual, and sometimes very, very funny. <laughs> but in the months before his death, she began to see that Robin slowly fade away. He's such a beautiful, genius, amazing person, and he's so talented. There was nothing, you know, his fears and insecurities were we're killing him. And the day before he put an end to those personal demons, taking his own life, she believed her husband was getting better. It was a perfect day. We just did what we love to do together. And I know now that he gave me that perfect day, he gave us that perfect day. He planned it. In hindsight, it's, it, he knew what he was doing. After his death, a media frenzy ensued as she became embroiled in a contentious legal battle with Robin's children, her stepkids, over his estate. Why did you decide to take legal action? I was forced into it, basically. Two and a half weeks after Robin had left, I was still in shock, not back in our home. I was told that I might not be able to keep our wedding gifts, that, in fact, while you're out of the house, don't we, we need to come in and take everything out. Eventually, once we've gone through it all, tell us which, which items are yours and we'll, we'll decide whether or not that's true. And I'll never forget being on the phone with one of the trustees and saying, what is this? I know Robin Williams is famous. He's my husband. He's my husband. If we're talking that you guys think everything is memorabilia, then take me. He's touched me. Where does this end? In early October, they settled the case out of court. What agreements were reached? Basically what my husband wanted, which was just that I could live in the home until I die, that it would be taken care of. Every inch of that home has our laughter, our playfulness, our joy, our tears. She's now taking life one moment at a time. They say time heals all wounds. Has time eased your pain at all? It's not that those wounds ever go away. It's not that the pain goes away. It's that you get stronger. But it's always there. It takes, you know, it's always there. And a lawyer for the Williams children told the Associated Press the children are relieved to have this behind them. Today, Susan says she is living a quieter life in the home she shared with Robin. And the biggest lesson she told me she learned from him, the golden rule, treat others the way you would like to be treated. But she speaks about him in present tense. She says mm. he's around her every day. She has his slippers exactly where he left them on the bathroom floor. And she said that is where they will stay. It had to be very difficult for her to be able to express herself. And she did it so well, so lovely. She was raw, she was real, mm -hmm. and she, you could see the love. Yeah, that's yeah, his power, his, his performances are so powerful, it does feel mm -hmm. like we mm -hmm. still have he's still here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Amy. Sure. Mm -hmm.